you are about to witness television history the smartest people in the country are about to play the toughest game ever devised no saves no helps no multiple choice our genius is already the pressure is on it's day one will anybody be able to answer 500 questions i'm richard crest this is 500 questions the world's toughest questions and only one simple rule don't ever get three wrong in a row if you do you're gone all our contestants are certified geniuses. Let's meet our first genius. Where's he from? Toledo, Ohio. What does he do? He's an attorney. And what makes him a genius? He graduated magna cum laude from Columbia and has a perfect SAT score. It's Dan McCarthy. So, Dan. Yes. You're an attorney. Right. You're used to defending people on appeal, correct? That's right. I do criminal defense appeals. So uh, my clients are mostly in prison, which I guess is nice because they, they, they can't bother me as much. Over here, there is somebody who is determined to make you fail. Your challenger. Where's he from? Boston, Massachusetts. What does he do? He's a neuroscientist. And what makes him a genius he's a published author and he's a visiting scholar at harvard it is dr ogi ogus you sir are very welcome we have an attorney versus a neuroscientist if this isn't genius i don't know what is <laughs> your road to 500 questions starts with the first 50 questions and these are your first 10 categories medicine random asian history the bible rock music 80s films writers the presidency u.s landmarks cocktails and spirits now to make any money you have to get through all 50 questions you'll have 10 seconds to answer each one you can answer as many times as you like of course but you'll only earn money if your first answer is correct. And remember, don't get three wrong in a row. If you do, you're gone. Gone. The challenger will take your place. Do you both understand the rules? Yes. Yes, I do. Then let's play 500 questions. Choose your first category, $1,000, if it's the first right answer. All right, well, I think I'm going to need some help to get through this, so it seems fitting. Let's start with the Bible. First question. The Bible. Calling a higher power into some assistance. The Bible. First answer gives you 1000 You've got 10 seconds. Here's the question. What was the name of Adam and Eve's third child? 10 seconds. Seth. Okay. Absolutely. All right. One thousand dollars on your first question. It was the correct answer. And you answered it in just one second. So let's see if you can try and beat that. Right. Your next category, please. Let's try, uh, let's do cocktails and spirits. Cocktails and spirits. In 1950s vodka ads, Toastmaster General of the United States, George Jessel, claimed he invented what gory sounding drink 10 seconds uh, blood and sand um the bloody mary correct answer it wasn't your first so no, it wasn't no money first. Runs, but I you do to continue to, to play all right next category please let's do rock music rock music thousand of it your first here's the question what hard rock group got its name from common letters seen on the back of a vacuum cleaner 10 seconds acdc Ah, uh, right. $1,000 okay. and, of course, just over a second. Let's keep pace. Next let's question. keep doing that. Uh, let's, let's do rock music again. Rock music for $1,000, first answer. And the question is, 
Members of the Eagles played their first concert together in 1971 as a backup band to what female singer? Ten seconds. I uh, share uh, Dolly Parton, um, uh, 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 Grease Slick, um, uh, 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 Nancy Sinatra. No. You get a wrong on the board for that. Dr. Linda Ronstadt, man. Uh. Absolutely right. Linda Ronstadt. Now, it's very important. You've got a wrong on the board. Okay. And your goal here is to get rid of the wrong. Right. Quite early on to do that. And um, you can obviously go for a new category or you can go to somewhere where you, you feel it's a safe harbor. But right. you need to get rid of the wrong. You know, I'm tempted to go with the Bible again, but I might be asking, pressing my luck a little too hard there. Let's do the presidency. A new category. New category. Battle. Whoa! That is a battle question. Doctor, step into play and prepare for battle. Here we have multiple answers. You will take turns going backwards and forwards. You have five seconds each to answer. But on this question, I can only accept your first answer. You will always be in control. Do you want to lead or follow? I think this is a strong category for me, so I'm going to lead. Why does leading make that better for you? Well, I guess you, you get the, the first easier answers. You can sort of knock those out, and then the, the opponent has to struggle a little bit, hopefully, to come up with it. We'll find out. A battle question. You both understand how to play it. Here is the question. Who are the eight most recent U.S. presidents to have served as state governors? Five seconds. George W. Bush. Carter. Bill Clinton. Reagan. Nixon. No! Oh! Vice President, but not a he state for, he governor. He ran for governor, but he lost. That's right. All right. This is disaster it for is. you. You now have two wrongs on the board. Let's look at the answers that you could have gone for. Franklin Roosevelt, Calvin Coolidge, Woodrow Wilson, and Theodore Roosevelt. Those were the answers. All right, Dan. All right. You've got two wrongs on the board, Dan, and this is a very dangerous situation for you to be in. If you get the next answer wrong, it will be three wrong in a row, and you are... Gone. To make matters worse... Oh, look at him. He's the smiling doctor. <laughs> the doctor over here is now going to pick your next category. But, as I can see, Ogie, there's, there's not much for you to go on. Where are you going to send him? Well, he seems like a very sober young man, and I don't think he <laughs> spends a lot of time in bars, so I'm going to pick cocktails and spirits. Whoa! That is risky, because he did get cocktails and spirits right on his first one. Yeah, but he didn't seem very comfortable with it, so... Are you comfortable with it? Well, I'll be needing a cocktail or spirit if I don't get it, so... I'd better get comfortable. Believe me, if you get it, you may be buying the drinks all around. Okay. okay. The question is... Made with whiskey, vermouth, bitters, and garnished with a Marchino cherry, what cocktail shares its name with a U.S. island? Ten seconds. Manhattan. Back in the game. Ogie. That fired. This is about strategy, and your strategy failed. It did. The wrongs have gone, and you've got $3,000. How are you feeling? I'm hanging in there. Back to zero strikes, though, so let's go make some more money. Who am I to argue against an attorney who wants to make money? <laughs> Another uh, category. You know, let's let's try to do another uh, rock music there again. Rock music. You have a 50-50 on rock music so far. The question is, what drummer from Nirvana is now the frontman for Foo Fighters? Ten seconds. Dave Grohl. Thousand dollars. Next category. Yeah, that's more in my era, you know, not so much the Linda Ronstadt. But, you know. uh, let's do... Oh. Uh, no, he's probably younger than me. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just kidding. Yeah. I wouldn't say that. All right, next category. Bring up a battle. Come on. <laughs> next question. Uh, let's do rock music again. Rock music. Oh! As 
is in. <laughs> From your lips. Yes. Step into play and prepare for battle. As always, do you want to lead or follow? You led last time, it was a disaster. It didn't work, it didn't work. Well, the problem here is he seems pretty strong in this category, so I don't know if it makes much of a difference whether I lead or follow. I think I gotta lead and hope for the best here. You're gonna lead. If and when it comes your turn, we'll be interested to hear your computational neurologist thinking on that strategy. Okay. Here we go. The battle question on rock music, and it is. Besides Jimi Hendrix, name the 30 musical acts that played at the original 1969 Woodstock Festival. Five seconds. Uh, C Creedence Clearwater Revival. James Chaplin. Uh, Jefferson Airplane. Grateful Dead. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> two battles and two losses. I was just about to say Joe Cocker, and it didn't get out. Well, of you, you may have been about to yeah. say it, but you didn't. didn't. I didn't say it. And you have a it. rung on the board. All right. And for those wanting to know, let's have a look at some of the others you could have had. The Who, Santana, Sly and the Family Stone, Joe Cocker, on it goes. All right, you have one rung on the board. You've got $4,000 in play. Okay. You do need to get rid of this red. I do. And I'd like to know, well, can you do it? I hope so, wow. Don't choose your category, we're gonna find out after the break. The Bachelorette, new Monday, 9, 8 central on ABC. We're back with 500 questions, and I'm with our reigning genius, Dan. So you've got to get rid of the wrong. That's your priority. Where would you like to go? I suggest you skate to the thickest ice you can find. <laughs> uh, that's tough to judge. Um, let's do U.S. landmarks. A new category. New category. Question on U.S. landmarks. 1,000 for the first answer. 10 seconds on the clock, and it is. What poem by... Emma Lazarus appears on a bronze plaque in the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. Ten seconds. Uh, give me your, your tired and poor uh, yearning to be free. Uh, the immigrant's poem, um, the, uh, 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 I don't know, Doctor Who. Second wrong. Yeah. Would you have known the answer? The New Colossus. Correct. The New Colossus. Dan. You now have two rungs on the board, and you got Dogie. Get to choose the next category. Talk me through where you were going to send Dan. Well, he didn't do as well on the Woodstock question as I would have guessed, so let's go back to rock music again. If, if we're going on pure logic, that is the place to go, since he's had two rungs. Right. Let's be clear. You're now playing to stay in 500 questions. You have two wrongs in a row. The question on rock music to stay in 500 questions. The Doors took their name from a book by what author of Brave New World? 10 seconds. Aldous Huxley. Yes. Get rid of the wrongs. Add in the money. Dr. Ogie, let me remind you, if he makes it to 50 questions, then you're gone. Dan, you're only 2% of the way through. You have $5,000 in play, and we'll take your next category. Uh, let's see, uh, let's try 80s films. 80s films, 1,000 if you get it right. And the question is, in what acclaimed comedy will you find the characters Dorothy Michaels and Michael Dorsey? Ten seconds. Uh, Sixteen Candles, uh, 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 Pretty in Pink, um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, uh, Tootsie. Um... Yes! Oh! <laughs> Tootsie! Woo! Two seconds to go. Two seconds to go. I guess. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much a guess. I've seen that movie before. Maybe it clicked somewhere, but no. No money, but no wrongs, and we continue. There are a couple of categories here that you've avoided. Uh, scared of them? 
Uh, a little bit afraid. Tiny bit. All right, next category. Let's stick with 80s films. 80s films. Oh, <laughs> a top 10 challenge. Now here, there are 10 potential answers. You have to give five of them in 15 seconds. But you get the choice. Do you want to play or pass? If you pass it to him and he wins it, that's a wrong for you. This is a tricky, tricky decision because I don't know too much about how he feels about 80s films. It's been pretty strong so pretty far. Pretty strong overall, though. You're right. You're right. I think I will regret it more if I pass it. So I think I've got to go for it and try to play it myself. You've chosen to play. And we've no wrongs on the board, so relatively strong position in which to be taking that risk. Your top 10 challenge, it's on 80s films, and the question is... Name five of the 10 films from the 1980s that won the Academy Award for Best Picture. 15 seconds. Chariots of Fire, Gandhi, um, Terms of Endearment, Amadeus, Platoon. You got it! Congratulations. Another thousand. And you could have also had Ordinary People Out of Africa, The Last Emperor, Rain Man, and Driving Miss Daisy. $6,000 in play, 12 questions gone. Your next category. All right, we're kind of on a roll here, so let's do 80s films again. Now, you can have any category you like, and it's too late because you've already selected it, but <laughs> remember to bank those safe categories in case you need them. Yeah, there, I don't see a lot of safe categories out there, you can see. So 100% we'll, uh... record so far. All right. 80s films, here's the question. After starring in her first major film role in Grease 2, what actress rose to fame playing Elvira Hancock in Scarface? Ten seconds. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, Kim Beck. Oh, okay. You looked the most surprised in the room when you heard that. <laughs> Your next category. Uh, let's stick with 80s films. Oi! No! Dr. Steven to play. Prepare for battle. As always, lead or follow. Remember, you have <laughs> had mixed blessings on That's this. right. That's You've right. I've had mixed battle. blessings. Uh, I think I'm going to follow. Dr. Ogie, you are going to lead on this occasion. So, will Dan win his first battle after the break? to 500 questions where we are in battle as Dan goes against Ogie and you are going to lead on the occasion. Remember the rules. First answer is the only one I can accept. You've got five seconds. The question on 1980s films. Here we go. What were the first six films directed by John Hughes? 16 Candles. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Pretty in pink. No! Oh, he wrote it. He didn't no. direct it. Back you go. You win your That's first tough. battle. You get $1,000. And your strategy worked. <laughs> Let's see the answers you could have had. Breakfast Club, Weird Science, Planes, Trains, Automobiles, and She's Having a Baby. All right. Let's have your next category, please. All right, so I've been doing well in it, but I feel like I'm pretty shaky, so let's try to finish off 80s films. And well, you've actually that. got your hit rate up. You're now getting roughly 70% of your right. questions correct. <laughs> you've got $8,000 in play, but remember, you don't get a penny of it until you've completed all 50 questions. All right. Here we go. Questions on 80s films. 1,000 for the first answer. The question is... The Elephant Man is based on a real-life 19th-century misshapen man with what last name? Ten seconds. Um... Uh, Smith, Johnson, Jones, uh, Elephant, uh... uh James, uh... No! A wrong on the board. Doctor? Merrick? Correct. John Merrick. 
3% of the way through and you have a wrong on the board, you need to get rid of it. Let's see where you're going to try. See what we can do. Let's do cocktails and spirits again. Cocktails and spirits. There is a logic. You have a 100% success rate on that so far. Question is, since 1978, what fruity cocktail has been the national drink of Puerto Rico? Ten seconds. Uh, the, the Mai Tai, the Mojito, the, the, the Margarita, the Daiquiri, um, the... Um, uh, uh, talk it out. Uh, doctor, do you know the answer? Pina Colada. Yeah. Correct. Pina Colada. All right. It's Pina Colada, and oh, you're exhausting me, but we are, we are here again. Imagine how I feel, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's good. Good point. As you can see, we have two wrongs on the board. That means your opponent chooses your next category. Where are you going to send which category? Because you get to choose. I'm giving up on strategy. I'm just going to go to random and hope for the best. <laughs> it's your third chance to remove him yes. from the game. All right. Random. Due to the correction of a scientific mix-up, the Brontosaurus has been reclassified with what name, meaning deceptive lizard? Ten seconds. A Padasaurus? Brocky? Okay, yes! Sure. Get rid of the wrongs! Give him a thousand dollars! We're back. I'm getting him right when I need to. You're really bad at choosing other people's categories. I can't knock him out. You're getting all these opportunities. What's wrong with your strategy? What's wrong with you? With well, I, I gave up on strategy that time, so... <laughs> let's, let's just take a second to recap where we are. 9,000 in play, 17 questions. You've still got three categories that you've not even tickled. Right. And we'll take your next category. Please. All right, I think we got to do one of these new categories. Let's well, do, uh, let's, let's do Asian history. Asian history, $1,000 first answer, and the question... Who was Emperor of China when Marco Polo visited there in the 1270s? Ten seconds. Uh, Kublai Khan? Gang okay. okay. That's your... Back to your form. That was just over one second to that. Next category. Uh, let's do another new category. Let's do medicine. Medicine. The question is, psychiatrists know what dyskinetophobia is a fear of what? Ten seconds. The number 13. Yes! One and a half seconds and one thousand dollars. And the next category. Uh, you know, let's stick with medicine. Medicine. It's the 20th question. From 2009 to 2013, Dr. Regina Benjamin served in what position in the U.S. Public Health Service Commissioned Corps? Ten seconds. Surgeon General? Correct. First answer, 12,000, 20 questions, 4% through, and your hit rate has gone up to 70%. All right. Dan is playing a superb game. Will it continue? We'll find out after the break. Whispers. Premieres by Digital First on ABC. Survey says... Celebrity Family Feud premieres June 21st on ABC. Welcome back to 500 Questions where Dan continues to play. Brilliant strategic playing by you. Next category, please. Uh, let's do cocktails and spirits again. Cocktail. <laughs> I'll need a drink after mm -hmm. this. Uh, cocktails and spirits. Thousand of it's the first. Question is, one of the Cuban founders of Bacardi Rum was the grandfather of what legendary early television personality? Ten seconds. Uh, Ricky Ricardo. Um, uh, uh, Lucille Ball, uh, um, uh, 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 Benny, um... No. There's the wrong on the board. Was it the actual person, Desi Arnaz? Desi Arnaz was oh. correct. Of you course. went through it's... everything else. Yeah. Ricky Ricardo was the character, but you went through everybody else. Desi Arnaz, you have one wrong on the board. You need to get rid of it. Where would you like to go to try and get rid of it? Well, let's go back to the beginning and do the Bible again. When in doubt, head to the Bible. Ah. Okay, step into play and prepare for battle. 
It's 2-1 to Ogie on battles. Are you going to lead or are you going to follow? I think I'm going to lead on this one again. It's going to work out one of these times, you know? Your history of leading versus following is against you. That's true. That's true. I, I guess I'm like Christian Grey in the classic book, Fifty Shades of Grey. I always need to be in control, so, you know, it's a problem. And I'm not touching that with a ten-foot pole. It's okay. All right, the question is, what are the first eight books of the Old Testament? Five seconds. Genesis. Numbers. Exodus. Deuteronomy. Leviticus. Job. No. Return. There's the wrong gun. Congratulations. It's a thousand dollars. I'd take my hat off if I was wearing one because your strategy paid dividends. Uh, let's see the answers that you could have come up with. There you had all of those. It was Joshua, Judges, and Ruth. Okay, you're in a strong position. You have no wrongs on the board. Thirteen thousand dollars in play. And we go to your next category, please. All right, so after the Bible, I think we got to go back to cocktails and spirits, right? <laughs> cocktails and spirits. You've got a 50-50 on cocktails and spirits. And we'll take the last in the category. The question, please. What yellow liqueur was invented in 1896 and named for a hero of the first Italo-Ethiopian War. Ten seconds. Uh, Limoncello, Frangelico, um, uh, 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 um, Absinthe, um, uh... Wrong! You're not making life easy for yourself. No, that's true. But you have a wrong on the board, and the correct answer was Galliano. Cocktails and spirits proved to be uh, somewhat a little strong for you, that particular drink. Three wrong out of five. You have a wrong on the board. You do need to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Let's take your next category, please. All right. Well, this didn't work very well last time, but I'm going to try U.S. landmarks again. Hang on. <laughs> what am I missing here? You have a wrong on the board, and you've gone to a category yes. that you got wrong the last time. I strongly suspect that was a fluke, and uh, we'll, get a, we'll get an easier question this time. Brave man! All right. Oh, you're not scared. All right. The question, please. Sacred to the Lakota Indians, what natural feature became the first national monument in 1906? Ten seconds. Um, Chimney Rock, uh, Mount Rushmore, um, uh, Yosemite, uh, Yellowstone, um, uh, Arches, uh, Mount Zion. Uh... Oh, second wrong. Would, would you have known? Devil's Tower? That's correct, Devil's oh. Tower. Okay. For the fourth time, you've got those two wrongs, and as always, three wrongs in a row, and you're... Gone. It is also question 25, and that is a milestone that's worth $5,000. Now, you've got two wrongs on the board, Dan. Can you get rid of them? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back. Dan is playing to stay in 500 questions. You have two wrongs on the board, and it's your 25th question, and that is a milestone, which also puts $5,000 potentially in your pocket. If you get it right the first time, Dan, you will get $5,000 to take home no matter what happens. Now, as always, three wrongs in a row, and you're... Gone. And the man who hopes to send you on your way, Dr. Ogie, you get to choose the category. Talk me through what category you want to send him to. So I know he's got two wrong in landmarks, but he seems very confident about that category, <laughs> so that scares me a little bit. He hasn't touched writers yet, but I suspect that's his best category, and that's why he's saving it for last. So I'm just going to go for random again, because I still think that's the best chance I have for just hitting him with something All right. completely unexpected. 
You want to go to random? Yes. Okay. The question is... Aruba's two official languages are the local Papiamento and what other? Ten seconds. Dutch. Yes! And as for you, <laughs> no luck at all. He got rid of the wrongs. He earned 5,000, which is yours to take home now right. because it's a milestone. Yeah. And more importantly, you have now completed 5% <laughs> of your 500 questions. How are you holding up? Uh, just barely. Well, you can't have any cocktails and spirits to help you. All right, we're all gone. All right. I, I can't see any strategy here, so just go where you want. I can't either. I can't either. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, Asian history. Asian history. A thousand of it, the first ten seconds, and the question is... The Harappan civilization emerged around 3,300 B.C. on the banks of what longest Pakistani river? Ten seconds. It's the Indus River. That is correct. 15,000 in play. Next category. Uh, how about medicine? Medicine. Thousand of it's the first. Question is, in 1974, what well-known life-saving measure was first discussed in Emergency Medicine magazine in the article, Pop Goes the Cafe Coronary? Ten seconds. The Heimlich Maneuver? Uh, okay. Okay. You'd have known that. He's good. Okay. 16,000. Next category. You know, uh, I think I got to tempt fate again. Let's do U.S. landmarks. Maybe You've avoided. Be All right. I thought it was a strength, but I don't know now. You know. It's, it's, if that's a strength, I'd hate to see a weakness. I know. I know. All right, U.S. landmarks. Thousand of it the first. And the question: On whose Washington D.C. memorial is this phrase inscribed? Out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Ten seconds. Uh, Lincoln, Jefferson, Martin Luther King. Okay. It wasn't your first, so there's no money earned. Something tells me you have just taken us on a tour of the Washington Monuments. <laughs> Bring all the ones that I know That's about, it. anyway. Right. Yeah. You have not touched writers. Why? I, I think it could be a good category. Who knows? It seems very broad, so I think we're kind of saving that maybe towards the end, see how it plays out if I get that far. Right, but you do need some safe harbors in the case it doesn't turn yeah, out Yeah, I don't think there are any safe harbors in this game, though, unfortunately. 28 questions. Next category. All right, let's do random. Random. The random question is, what is the first name of the 17-year-old who in 2014 became the youngest ever winner of the Nobel Peace Prize? Ten seconds. Uh, Mary, Sue, uh, Ann, um, uh, Chloe, uh, Jen, Natalie, Sarah, uh, Ben, uh, Ron. I don't think that was anywhere no. close to it. Wrong on the board. The answer, do you know? She's Pakistani, but I don't know her name. Of course, it was Malala. Oh. And you'll remember, of course, she was the young woman who was shot by the Taliban. Yeah. And, of course, made a superb recovery and has gone on to become a beacon of hope. All right. And you have a wrong on the board. That, of course, has to be removed. Where would you like to go? The Bible has treated me well. Let's go back there. It's question 30 on the Bible. And first answer gives you a thousand if it's correct. The question is, what biblical character was slain in the Valley of Ella? Ten seconds. Uh, Jacob, um, uh, Eli, um, uh, 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 Jeremiah, Ezekiel, uh, Ezra, uh, Isaiah, um, uh, Elijah. No. Two wrongs. The correct answer, Goliath. Goliath. David and oh. Goliath. All right, you have two wrongs on the board and that of course means okay you get to choose the next category you've had all these attempts no. to get rid of him <laughs> and you failed it's very distressing <laughs> not for him it's not <laughs> where are you going to send him i'm going to choose random once again you are now playing to stay in 500 questions you have two wrongs on the board, and remember, three wrongs in a row, and you're... Gone. This might be your final question. The question to be revealed after the break. Yeah. 
WHSV News, working hard for you. Welcome back to 500 Questions. Dan has two rungs on the board. Then remember, three rungs in a row and you're gone. Do you understand? Yes, You need I do. to get this right. Absolutely, I have to get it right. You've done it before. All right. The random question. In Greek legend, what king was killed by his wife, Clytemnestra upon his return from Troy? Ten seconds. Agamemnon. You're back in the game. Get rid of the wrongs. Add in the money. I studied a little bit of ancient Greek in college. I remember very little of it, but I do remember Agamemnon and the word for the number 13, so it's come through for me twice tonight. You, sir, are a disaster. You've had five opportunities to get rid of this guy and take his place. Next time. All right, the next category. Uh, let's do U.S. landmarks again. U.S. landmarks, two to one against you so far. Question is, peopled by reenactors dressed in 18th century period costumes, what 300-acre historic area in Virginia builds itself as a living museum? Ten seconds. Colonial Williamsburg. Well done. Next category. Okay, uh, how about medicine? You're determined to avoid writers, but that's your prerogative. Medicine, thousand if it's the first. Question, please. After the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, what doctor set the broken leg of John Wilkes Booth? Ten seconds. Mud. Excellent. All right, let's have the next category with 19,000 in play. Uh, how about, uh, you know, uh, let's finish random. Let's get that out of you play. You are going to be in such trouble. Uh -oh. And you are! A random battle. A random it's a battle. battle. Doctor, step into play and, gentlemen, prepare for battle. Okay, as always, do you want to lead or follow? Uh, I think I'm going to follow. Why? Because I have no idea at all what's coming at me, so maybe it gives me a few extra seconds to think about an answer. We'll see. Those few extra seconds could be all that you need. All right, and the battle question on random. We'll be starting with you. You'll have five seconds. The question is, according to the Food Service Research Institute, what are the ten types of cheeses most commonly listed on menus in the United States? Five seconds. Rockford. No. Get me back. Well, Ogie made a classic mistake there. You never do battle with a Midwesterner when cheese is on the line. <laughs> but let's look and see the answers that you could have had. Mozzarella, cheddar, parmesan, jack, Swiss, American, blue. <coughs> Provolone, ricotta, and feta. All right, Dan, $20,000 is at stake. So your 35th question and your category, please. You know, even though I've done well, the category there that scares me the most is medicine. So let's finish that one out. How can you say that? You've had four out of five. I've been oh, and that's triple nine. threat. Oh, no. It's a triple threat. Here, there are three answers. You'll get $1,000 for each answer, but only if you give me all of them. Mm -hmm. You have 10 seconds. Okay. You understand the rules. Yes, I do. It's a triple threat question on medicine, and the question is, in the human body, what are the common names of the three small bones located in the middle ear? 10 seconds. The hammer, the anvil, and the... Uh, uh the uh, canal, the, the auditory, the, uh, um, the, 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 the symphony, the striking, the... the uh, Put it wrong on the board. Stirrup. The stirrup was correct. The anvil, the hammer, yeah. the stirrup. All right, you've got one wrong on the board, and you need to try and get rid of it. Which category do you want to attempt to do that with? All right, so let's go back to what I thought would have been a strength, but maybe not, the presidency. The presidency. $1,000 if it's the first right answer. Get rid of the wrong. And the question is, 
With the election of John Adams, what political party became the first to have its candidate win the U.S. presidency? Ten seconds. The Federalist Party. Get rid of the wrong. Add in a thousand. You took that in your stride. Mm -hmm. You're on a roll here. Let's keep going. Let's finish up U.S. landmarks. U.S. landmarks. A 50-50 on that for you. It's not mm -hmm. been a success. Question is... Used as a landmark by settlers following the Oregon Trail, Chimney Rock in Nebraska is found on the northern arm of what river? Ten seconds. The Snake River, the Missouri River, the Kansas River, the Nebraska River, the Red River, the uh, 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 Montana River, the, uh, the, the Blue Fork River. The wrong's on the board. The correct answer is the Platte River. In other words, landmarks, which you thought might be strong, yeah, was three so to much. two against you. Not so much. You've got a wrong on the board. You need to get rid of it if you can. Choose your next category. All right, well, let's go back to the presidency. The presidency. $1,000 if it's the first right answer. Get rid of the wrong. And the question is, at our husband's second inauguration in 1813, what first lady famously served ice cream for dessert? Ten seconds. Madison Monroe. Okay. Yes, Dolly Madison. You've got rid of the wrong. It gives you $1,000. <laughs> Dr. Ogie, if he gets through the next 12 questions, you're gone. He's pretty good. Can Ogie knock him out, or will Dan make it to answer 500 questions? Join us next time to find out. Good night. Tomorrow, will Dan continue his climb? Yes! Towards 500 questions. 10 seconds. Hinduism, Bicephalus, Psalms. Yes! Whew. You're exhausting me. Defeating our genius Ooh. challengers along the way. What? Add on the money! Right. Will Dr. Ogie finally persevere? Take his place! It's part of a seven night event. Prepare for battle. But could tomorrow night? No! Be Dan's last. Uh, poker face, bad romance, uh, born this way, 